Welcome to the Aerial Plastics Corus Shingle Installation Guide. Corus Shingle is a lightweight shingle tile strip suitable for timber frame roofing projects around the home and garden. Durable, attractive and weatherproof, it is ideal for sheds, playhouses, home offices, summer houses and kennels that have roofs with a pitch greater than 12.5 degrees. Corus Shingle is extremely light in weight, so it is easy to handle and install. Special features make positioning simple. Step 1. Preparation Plan your project in advance. Ensure your roof is in good condition and make any necessary repairs before you begin installing the shingles. Pay particular attention to the construction of the roof section. This example is made of an 18mm plywood decked roof supported on timber trusses. Ensure there is enough thickness on the roof deck to accept 20mm galvanised cloud nails. If not, first overlay the roof with a thin plywood layer. On roofs with a pitch less than 20 degrees, a suitable roofing underlay membrane should be used. For this 2.5 meter by 2 meter roof, you will need the following materials. Each Cora shingle measures 1,000 millimeters wide and provides a cover width of 145 millimeters. Each pack of tiles covers 2.03 square meters. And make sure you have the right tools for the job before starting. Step 2. Attach detail strip roll to eaves and verge. Unroll the detail strip and form a 50mm eaves drip edge and nail to the roof deck at 150mm centres. The detail strip can be either dressed into the gutter or nailed at 50mm centres into the fascia board. Lay out the detail strip at the verge and nail at 150mm centres to the roof deck and at 50mm centres to the face of the verge. Step 3. Fixing Corus Shingles We recommend using 5 fixings per shingle strip. The shingles can now be laid, beginning at the eaves and working in rows towards the verge. Take care to keep them square to the eaves and verge lines at all times. Corus shingles feature interlocking edges to make horizontal alignment of the shingle a simple task. Lay the shingles into position and nail each tile strip into place using five 20mm large headed clout nails per shingle just above the tab joint. Tiles can be trimmed to size using a standing knife. Finish the eaves fixing by applying a thin bead of bituminous sealant adhesive below the eaves coarse tile tabs. This will bond them to the detail strip. Stagger the start of alternate courses to form a broken bond pattern. The positioning of the next course of shingles is made easy by a notch in the top of the shingle strip. This notch engages with the edge of the next course to be laid, providing vertical alignment of the tile tabs. Once positioned, secure each row of Cora shingles by nailing into place as before. Use a hot air gun to heat the strip's bitumen adhesive to bond the tile tab onto the lower course. Check the tile tab bond. If necessary, reinforce the tile tab bonding with bitumen sealant adhesive. Step 4. Fixing tiles at the verge. Mark out carefully and trim the shingles square to the verge line using a standing knife. Apply a thin bead of sealant adhesive to seal the shingles bond onto the detail strip at the verge and nail into place. Step 5. Attach detail strip roll to ridge. Be sure the shingles are laid and trimmed to the ridge line. Overlay the joint with detail strip, unroll it and form the strip centrally over the roof ridge. Complete the fixing of the detail strip by applying a thin bead of bituminous sealant adhesive 25mm from the edge of the strip. Nail into place using 20mm galvanised clout nails. Mm -hmm. 